songs just for you. Turn up the volume! This is our chance. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up my tempo. My turn. That's it. You can't. Just for ready to lose yourself, fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! Let's go. You have the worst luck running into me. Carefully. This song's just for you. Keep up my tempo! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! are made to be broken. Yeah. 
Let's make it quick. My turn. <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Turn up the volume! This is our chance. Take this! Clemency? Never heard of it. Keep up! My tempo! Stay right there while I give you a present! Step aside. I have no interest. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. You can't stop. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. With me out here, how can we lose? I don't want to be alone. Keep up! My tempo! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Good crowd today. Turn up the volume. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs>
time. Too late to repent. Just for you. Turn up the volume. Clemency? Never heard of it. Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Let's rock. This is our chance. are made to be broken. to repent.
time for the main event. Keep up! My tempo! This is our chance. You have the worst luck running into me! is yet to come. This installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Um, how did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damage components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah. I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This insulation was... accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I know that you're good people. You helped a lot of the injured in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? 
It was... a long time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Sparog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Sparok's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them make Clara. And let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Mm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Really? Awesome! Mm. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Sparrow's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparrow, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarok. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can... Please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I... Are you ready? I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But, why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background, unknown. Classification, unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talking. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh you off completely 
this guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target Threat Index Critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three, monitoring automaton Svarag. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Merge initiated. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary. It's but a vision! Check! Right! Calculating result. Feels more than that. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Move carefully. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> Let's run! I told you I could fight. Right there, while I give you a present! Execute the violation! Try that again! Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! Executing operation! You can't! Analysis complete. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. 
Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Calculating result. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Move carefully. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Back her up! Rules are made to be broken. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! This song's just for you. Turn up the volume! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquer us all. Better up. Execute the violation. You can't run. Executing operation. Let's make it quick. Calculating result. Yes. Analysis complete. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. My tempo! Family. Mr. Sparog, 
You said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... did we win? No, Zila. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. What's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this, Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, Madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're... You're... 
are still young, child. There will come a day, a day when you do understand. This supreme guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All the decisions are for the security of Malabarque. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? It would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. Why? Why, mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Mr. Svarov, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of Defense combat data intact. Geomero Development Group era records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior intact. So your memory module is okay? I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? 
There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are... Memories of family. I understand. Mr. Svarok, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. <sighs> the Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Um... <laughs> I haven't been truthful with you. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Wildfire's full support. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld.
Mr. Svara, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of Defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior intact. So your memory module is okay. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are... Memories of family. I under- Mr. Svarog, I still want to help you check a few other modules. to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Turn up the volume! Let's go. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. No interest in stoking conflict. This song is just for you. Turn up the volume. This is our chance. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. 